Hey, welcome back everyone. Toy Shiz here, and today I got a little something different for you. I've been looking forward to checking these out for quite some time, nearly a year and a half since they were unveiled, but I'm very excited because this is a show that's very near and dear to me, even though I didn't think I understood it at all as a kid. But Dinosaurs, the action figure line, kicks off from NECA Toys with the one and only Earl Sneed Sinclair. Now, in true NECA Toys fashion, you got the little flippy flap opening box that shows you exactly what's inside. You got a nice looking figure, and I will tell you this, if you can go through a bunch of them on the shelf, make sure you get yourself a good looking one in terms of the paint. Now, the imagery is epic. We say so right on the box, and on the back side, nice photos of Earl Sinclair with all the different accessories to achieve all these various poses and a little bit of a write-up talking about Jim Henson's involvement. You get to see baby Sinclair who is also available now and the nice little write-up that tells you everything that's inside the box. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure so thank you very much for that and here's the barcode. I found mine at Target. So this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, and thank God it's Friday, depending on when you see this video. This is a look at the brand new action figure line from NECA Toys, straight from Dinosaurs, Earl Sinclair. And whether you're a two-leg walker or a four-leg walker, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like how awesome is this right so you get everything out of the box there's a few twisty ties here and there go easy right you don't want to damage anything with your scissors which i have done in the past and that's never a good feeling but definitely ease up on those twisty ties and i'm talking to all the companies out there now you do get a ton of gestural hands which are always nice to see you got mug holding hands and beer can holding hands and pointing hands and you get the idea, and they're all painted very nicely. You get a nice articulation out of the wrists and whatnot. Now, this is very cool. So you get a six-pack of Lava Lager, which is the beer that Earl Sinclair drinks in the Dinosaur Show, and each one of the cans comes off, and that's awesome. I was thinking it's just a one-and-done kind of thing, right? No, every single beer can comes off the ring holder, and they're painted beautifully, nice decals. That's awesome to see. Now, what's really cool is you get the remote control that you see consistently on the show, whether Earl's using it or Baby Sinclair is using it. Now, you do get the captain's hat, which could be said it's from the episode Nuts to War, or you could just say that the mighty Megalosaurus is the captain of the Sinclair family, along with, and this is quite an episode that I went and watched before I did this, Life in the Faust Lane, where literally Earl sells his soul to get one of these Fern Hill mugs. It is a wackadoo episode. I do not remember this episode whatsoever, but definitely give it a watch, and I would say NECA Toys beautifully recreated this crazy mug. Now, you do get an extra head portrait, and all of it is painted beautifully. Nicely done, nicely rendered. Again, NECA recreating the look of the man in the rubber suit, much like their TMNT movie line. One thing I would have loved to have seen is a little bit more movement in the jaw, in the eyebrows. This one will always be looking off to the side, unfortunately, but maybe some moving eyes. That would be kind of cool because when you have the actual Earl Sinclair action figure, it's just a lot of fun to have this. The fact of the matter of not having dinosaur toys since the McDonald's days, early 90s with those little action movement ones, this is a definite upgrade. But if you're a huge Dinosaurs fan, or if you watch this show, and like I said, make sure you get yourself a good looking one with the paint. I have a lot of blemishes here and there. The green paint knocking up against the white shirts. That's something, unfortunately. And possibly something I may have done while swapping the head, so be careful. He has single jointed elbows for his tiny little dinosaur arms, right? Plenty of mobility for this type of character. He has one heck of a waist, and the pattern on his shirt is awesome. Everything is really well done, and I think that you do get enough articulation out of him. When it comes to the legs, no, I don't think you're going to pose him looking like this, 
but when you want to move him around you'll kind of see it's kind of weird in the middle section to the legs and go really easy with the knees he has single jointed knees but mine, I had to heat them up a little bit just to kind of get them moving a little bit more fluidly because they were on the borderline of stuck, we will say. But he also has some feet articulation. He'll spin at the knee. And like I said, plenty of articulation for the character of Earl Sinclair of a man in a dinosaur suit on an ABC television TGIF show, right? But I love the tail. I think the tail is just so cool. It's all segmented. It moves that is really awesome and it keeps him well balanced of course and it's painted beautifully so overall this is a home run of a figure for an old school television show that it was just so much fun to watch now with all the accessories and all those extra hands yes each of them work pretty darn well when he holds certain elements, we'll say, like the remote control, you kind of have to fit it in between his fingers, but you can definitely do that. And sometimes with the beer cans, those tend to fall out of the hands that are meant for the beer cans. The hat fits fine. It just sort of rests on top of his head. And in terms of the scalature, because this is a new toy line, from Hasbro to Mattel to McFarlane to other NECA toys and, of course, Super 7, this is where old Earl Sinclair will lie in terms of all the different scales of action figures out there and i have to say out of everything the movie turtles and this definitely go together well now what's fun though with this type of dinosaur figure is that you can get kind of creative in the photography especially if you have jurassic park toys having your photos be earth shakingly good right with all the characters of the original Jurassic Park. See, this is where you can have a lot of fun in crossovers, in the goofiness of toy shelves and action figure photography and everything else. And it just made me laugh because this was a lot of fun to shoot. <laughs> and I love Ian Malcolm in the back there. And we can't leave out the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers calling upon the might of the Mighty Zords. Well, it definitely looks like Dragon Zord has uh, let himself go over the years so that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new NECA toys straight from Jim Henson's dinosaurs Earl Sneed Sinclair beautiful sculpts awesome accessories although I would have loved to have seen the lunchbox but I'm sure we'll see that later on down the road when we get the we say so tree mover employee outfit and I'm sure we'll see a lot more characters as time goes on treat it like the gargoyles line right they do too and then you'll see more and then as we build up the collection i think it'll be amazing on your toy shelf but you've heard my thoughts now i'm curious to know yours comment below let me know let's talk everything dinosaurs and i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember go back and watch that show i'll tell you what it definitely holds up to this day and it is thoroughly interesting with everything they covered and totally went over my head as a kid and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios